Hello friends, Samuel Graham doing TCGs yet again. I was just thinking that I kind of missed the fun a couple sets later of the carnival. So here we are doing a quick revisit of Everfest. Um, got a couple boxes from my LGS at our Armory event this afternoon. Border Then Games in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Um, I did not do particularly well. Though I guess it was could have been worse. I got one win and two draws, funnily enough. So the draws, of course, you know, the way the flesh and blood setup does it, counts those essentially as double losses, so losses for both players. But uh, that wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't too bad. It was still a good time. Those were close games. Uh, did my first game playing against... Um, Playing against Arachne, playing against the new Assassin um, with my Dorinthia Classic Constructed build. And honestly, that was a lot of fun to play. Um, I really kind of enjoyed playing that matchup. So, learned a lot, got some, got some good times in, and now we'll take a gander at some cards that we haven't seen in a minute. There's our Foil Timekeeper's Whim. Even bigger than that, and a Majestic in the first pack there. That is an Earthlore Bounty. So this is my first time looking into this set really in quite a while. There are some of the cards that I pulled previously that aren't for... Uh, heroes that I play. There's twin twisters for a common foil again. And a couple of rares. A talisman and emeritus scolding, which is a really pretty interesting card. Um, there are a lot of like the high rarity, like the extended art, uh, earth lore bounty, um, stuff like that that I did not keep. So I wouldn't mind seeing... Hey, Thunderquake and even bigger that. Or any of the extended art cards in general, really. Um, I kept a bunch of the rare, the, the foil ones, but like the, the Majestics, I'd love to see some of those in a couple of packs. There is Wax on, Talisman of Tods, and Slice and Dice. So yeah, I'd, I'd just like to, there's some of those cool cards that I would like to see again. And honestly, just hadn't. Looked at a whole lot of it. In the swing, what's... Only if you've attacked it. It's not a terrible card for the uh, for an attack reaction. There's a high roller, our first rare foil. Let's scoot those up. Ooh, and a Teclo Pounder. That's a pretty decent Majestic. With a... Uh, Mechanologist getting a lot of attention after Dynasty now. So this is, you know... Dynasty is the most recent set. This one was three sets ago now. Um, both supplemental expansion sets, I guess they say. Uh, Clarity Potion and 100 Wins. So uh, both kind of given some buffs to stuff, but some of the older cards like Teclo Pounder has kind of gotten a new lease on life. There's a... Frostbite token. We'll kind of throw that in our in a fun stuff pile over here. There's even bigger than that, and release the tension for a couple of rares. There's really a bunch of decent cards in this set. It wasn't quite the uh, you know Crucible of War kind of hit, but uh, there was plenty of decent stuff in there. There's Reek of Corruption. There's a Potion of Deja Vu and a High Roller. Plenty of decent, for sure. Um, like Blade Runner has seen some seen some use. I definitely seismic stir in the swing is a little weird, but I could see it being being handy in the right situation. There's a regular, our second rare foil, Thunderquake. There's a Talisman of Featherfoot, and that's a pretty cool card, Shimmers of Silver, a majestic for illusionist once per turn. Whenever you attack with an illusionist or a weapon, put a plus one counter. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I hadn't 
paid a ton of attention to it because I wasn't really fiddling much with Illusionist when this came out. I had always thought I might try and play Prism, but then Dromai got more of my attention. Macho Grande, that's just a fun card. All right, there is a Cold Foil for us, a rare Cold Foil Talisman of Recompense. Not necessarily what we want to see, but we'll throw it on our cool stuff pile down there. Could be worse. Read the Glide Path, Amulet, and Rune Blood. So we're about at the halfway point with this pack that is being opened up right now. Blade Runner. That's just a good looking foil, I think. That's a cool card in foil. There is pick a card, any card, and release the tension. Let's see what else we can hit. I can't even remember. It's been so long now. I don't remember. There's fatigue Shot, Amulet, and Nerves of Steel for Majestic number four. I don't really remember exactly what the Majestic hit rate in this set was. Like, I know Dynasty seems heavier than I remember this being, but I'm, I'm not positive on that. There's a rare foil slice and dice, high striker, and a red emeritus scalding. Scalding, scalding, scalding. There's a seismic stir, fire breathing for another majestic there, and thunderquake. So yeah, I guess we're we're at about the right spot. This is this is closer to what I feel like I remembered now. Especially with the uh the rare cold foil being kinda Yeah, I can man. Ooh, alright. This rounds on me for our majestic foil. Not bad. Slice and dice and an amulet. There's a Rotary Ram. Smashing good time in 100 wins. It looks like it's a little... Eh, nah, it's just smudged. So not bad. We got a Majestic Rainbow Foil and five Majestic Non-Foils at this point. There's Steadfast. Talisman and a <laughs> Non-Foil, sadly. We definitely all you always want the uh, what we'd call a Marvel now the uh, cold foil version of Bravo star of the show, especially since he's already retired. You at least got to get the cold foil one day to uh, enjoy some value, right? There's a rare foil life of the party. Arca Ooh, that's another card. I hope that in the next box I see. I never opened the. Uh, cold foil extended version of that I would absolutely love to see it pyroglyphic protection non-foil talisman of recompense and haze bending got four packs looks like of this first box left and then we'll plow right on into the second. There's Bear Fangs. The Blue Pitch, Release Tension, and a Potion of Seeing. Alright, three packs left. We gonna hit anything else good? Let me know what you think. There's a Phantasmal Haze. Amulet of Oblation. Alright, Non-Foil Vexing Quill Hand for regular Majestic number seven. So this is definitely... It's not a great box by any stretch, but, you know, about average for Everfest. Smashing Good Time and Rune Blood Incantation. Last Pack Magic. Fabled. Anyone? Anyone? That's one thing I have to remember about Everfest, too, is it was that last set. T-Bone. 
Slice and Dice, and Talisman of Cremation. All right, rolling right into the next box. It was the last set before they did the the kind of Fab 2.0 reworking of the boxes, the pull rates, the cold foils, all that jazz. Um, so it's only the cold. It's the cold foil or bust option, basically for the for the legendaries and all that. Uh, foil emeritus scolding. Which definitely is something that makes a difference. Like opening this, it's like, it's not bad, but I definitely see why Uprising and Dynasty now uh, both kind of appeal to me more, at least to some degree, than the older boxes because you've got that option of, hey, maybe I still hit a rainbow foil legendary even if I didn't get that cold foil goodness, right? And then you get still like a common or a rare cold foil along with it. Drowning Dire, Amulet, and Volda Bright X. For our first Majestic of the second box here. He let my pick me pick my boxes when I was buying them. I think I picked the wrong ones. He should, I should have uh, had him grab them for me. All right, so there is our cold foil. It is early enough that maybe the Talisman of Featherfoot won't be our only cold foil this box. Maybe, fingers crossed. Some magic at the very, very, very back end of the box coming. There's a Passing Mirage in foil. That's actually a pretty decent rare to see. First Illusionist attack each turn loses and can't gain Phantasm. Rotary Ram. There's another copy of Fire Breathing as I'm slinging sleeves all over the place for this box's second Majestic. I was having that conversation with somebody at the shop today about how magic and flesh and blood are too close with the whole Majestic mythic. It's like, come on, Fab. You got rid of Majestic. You couldn't have kept... Or you, you got rid of super rare. You couldn't have kept that to k keep the M words from getting confused with each other, could you? Had to... Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's the thing I was forgetting, is that the cold foil slot it in the only big slot. And we got the extended rainbow foil aether wildfire and a majestic scour in the back of the same pack all right so that hit pretty nice love to see the extended majestic that's one of the cards i think that i let go previously and needed a copy of so that is good to see i'm pretty happy with that indeed we'll revisit that here in a minute arcane lantern Still not the extended one, but I can't complain after pulling the Aether Wildfire, I suppose. It's Wax on, Recompense, and a Sigil of Parapets. While it's defending, whenever you play a wizard card, it gains plus two. Fascinating. We are in the back half of this second box for... Our quick little Everfest carnival revisit here. Pyroglyphic protection. A potion in another room. Yeah, the second box is definitely better than the first. Alright, so there is a, another frostbite token. Slice and dice and an amulet. Coalescence Mirage, Smashing Good Time, and Emeritus Scolding in yellow. Hundred Wins. All right, that's another extended. It's a rare extended, but a r extended nonetheless. Extended Art Foil. We will gladly accept that. Very nice, very nice. 
Yeah, this second box, Macho Grande again in red this time, and a battering bolt. That's a pretty fun ranger arrow. Yeah, this second box has been way better than the first one. The first one was fine. The second one's awesome. Very happy with that. Fatigue shot, potion of seeing, and 100 wins. Let's see if we get any other fiery surprises in these last few packs. There's another foil blue blade runner, high roller and smashing. Uh, we got five left. I'd still expect one more majestic, maybe. Smashing good time. Well, there is one more majestic. Kraken's Aether Vein, which frankly I somehow forgot existed. That's kind of something else. Ah. There's Payload, pick a card, any card, and Thunderquake. I don't know. Three packs feels like a lot to not see anything. Um, I, I think we get one more Majestic still. Maybe nothing else. Seismic stir. Oh, well, I was wrong. Ha, my original guess was right. That there would be another cold foil. And another cold foil there was. How about a stalagmite bastion of Eisenloft? One of the legendary shields. In the cold foil legendary slot. How about that? Wow, this second box was fantastic. Cold Foil Legendary. We got a Cold Foil Rare and that extended art Aether Wildfire along with the usual smattering and Runic Reclamation. Good grief. That seventh non-foil Majestic and Runic Reclamation is a pretty nice one to hit. Last pack. Man, we hit our... Last three pack magic already. That's pretty outstanding. Pick a card, any card, and passing Mirage. Well, through two boxes, it is uh, pretty hard to argue with the results that popped up here. We got Runic Reclamation, Aether Vein, Battering Bolt, which Sigil's pretty decent. Um, Vault is fun to see. Vexing Quill Hand, Nerves of Steel, Shimmers, Teclo Pounder. For 14? Yeah, 14 regular Majestics. Well, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. We got our two rare cold foil talismans. Which is always nice to see cold foils. But we had a two cold foil box. We'll get back to that. We got a couple of Frostbites. We got an extended 100 wins and a this round's on me. But then we got the extended Majestic Aether Wildfire Foil, which is awesome, and a Cold Foil Stalagmite Legendary. That's pretty legit. We got our normal smattering of rares, foil rares, foil commons. Y'all... That was a pretty good two boxes. This was a fun little revisit. I'm not upset about this at all. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure uh, at least a few of these cards I was still hunting after, especially in the foils. So I'm pretty excited by how this turned out. That was for for what for what you know bought it for. That's a pretty good way to go. I had a blast with this, y'all. I hope you had a fun revisiting Everfest, revisiting the carnival with me here. Um, thanks so much for the time you choose to spend with me. I really legitimately appreciate it, and I hope to catch you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, y'all.